what I have here is this um, giant heat hawk from one, uh, one four four scale of the origin or Ortega's uh, Hymo Zaku 2 so I start off um, with another tutorial where I seamed up this line <coughs> and um, cleaned this up as best I could and made a mold of this what this mold looks like is kind of like that and just was in here and I made this silicone mold after making this mold pull this out and I put uh, created some a string of LEDs, put that in here, uh, mixed up some clear resin, close this up, and I have this clear resin piece here, like so. Now, the question I had when I built this is, how do I power up this LED? <clears throat> I thought about it for a while, and there's a lot of space inside here, so I could potentially put a battery in here, but then how would I go about turning this on and off? And then once I put it in there, since there's these seam lines, that pretty much puts that battery uh, permanently in there. So, I've done this with other kits where I put a battery permanently in there. Uh, since I'm not going to turn this on all the time, that battery should last a decent amount of time. Now what I did was I created a switch assembly using this um, bottom piece. And I'll take this apart to show how this works. But basically, I'm just gonna I'm gonna twist this and that lights up the 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 blade. I can twist this back and it turns off the blade. So every all the switch assembly, the battery, everything is completely inside self-contained within this uh, axe. So I'm gonna take apart this um, the axe to show you what I did. So as I Carefully do this, hopefully nothing springs out. This is a, a pretty basic setup I have here. So I'm taking this out. And you see that for some of these internal peg pieces, I've cleared it out. I've taken this out, taken this out, and taken this out. Now here's my switch assembly, what it looks like. Uh, I cut off the connecting point for this piece and just added a piece of styrene and added a wire that runs across this so as I twist this the two wires down here will contact so as I twist this around hopefully this works as I'm doing this because ah, wires are kinda weird as I twist this around it'll, it'll contact the wires and I'll have a, a complete circuit Again, twisting around, turn it off, and so on and so forth. Now, this is just, you know, the positive side to the positive side so, uh, of the battery. Now, if I take this apart here, you can see how I have this set up. Now, I have this little battery pack that I made using two um, 1.5 uh, small button batteries. I use a piece of styrene tubing as a battery holder and I just soldered on top of the battery two leads positive and a negative so these are stacked together there's 1.5 1.5 equals 3 volts so I have the negative side going to the negative here to the battery and a positive side coming out and a positive side coming out here so what that does is if I connect these two positive ends it'll light the it'll light everything up so um, everything and clearing out everything in here just put everything together hopefully this comes up properly battery is inside um, as I fiddle with this these two leads will go down the neck and then my uh, switch assembly which is this um, because I took out the connection point here that connected to this bottom piece I needed this uh, metal rod to go and come up here so that there's uh, provide some stability so once I have this set up kind of put together I could snap this together and eventually this will all be glued together and uh, cleaned up and also the blade will be painted 
So this should look um, a little different. So now with this assembly, hopefully, if I have my wires in there correctly, if I turn this, yep. Turn, 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 light. There we go. And we have this pretty much lit up. And it's completely standalone, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, but the only drawback is I can't swap out the battery. So, key is to not turn this on for long periods of time. Now, if I wanted to wire this such that I could swap out the battery or use an external battery source, I would probably have to wire out here and go through the hands and you know go through the body but you know that kind of limits what I could do with this axe um, I could put this on another kit if I wanted to so this keeps it all self-contained and that's all there is to wiring this thing up